Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again to the Farts and Crap Show, where today I'm going to be your host, as per usual. And, uh... Oh, it's Danjo. It's your boy Danjo. Um... Those are not materials. That is, once again, the, uh... Can't make thing. Uh, but yeah, we're going to Ospio. Because we have a couple of side quests to take care of before proceeding with the main story. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, I think we're just popping into Ospio. I don't think there's much of anything to do on this one. Do you mind if I step away for a bit? I'm going to talk to the mages here about spirit conversion. Sure, go ahead. All their blast here research must be pretty useless uh, soon anyway. Alright, I'll try not to be too long. You're all wasting your time! You're all wasting your time! <laughs> it's like, oh no, Rita's back. She lost it. Did she ever have it? Like, true. True. So, that's about the long and short of it. Wow, things have gotten pretty bad. Spirits, huh? So you're saying you want to take our Blastia research away from us? People can't live without Blastia. I don't like this idea one bit. You also know, talk big for a bunch of amateurs with underfunded research that no one cares about. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we're past the first minute. What did you say? You want to rumble? <laughs> what, are these, what are these guys, greasers and robes? Anyway, I didn't come here to listen to you have your petty arguments. Can you just put your emotions on hold for a few minutes? Anyway, it's as I told you. Mages will soon be unable to simply continue with our studies of Blastia. Just thought I would be best if I let you know. Can't accept what you told us. Even if you're the breast... The breast? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, even if you're the best brain in Ospio, you're still a child. Adults are reluctant to pay heed to the words of one so as young as you. Surely that's all it is. It's really not the issue here. Adults have their own way of discussing things. You just leave everything to us. Right, we'll do something about that stubborn bunch. Yeah, I'm sure you fuckers will. Sorry about that. Come on, let's go. Is it really okay to leave so soon? I mean, it's fine. Let's go. Okay, what else am I supposed to do here? Hmm. I guess that's actually it. Hmm. really thought there'd be something else to it. Alright. Well, we're going to Halur. We're not going far. Oof. This is still probably my favorite town in the game. It's very simple, very elegant. I like it. Let's see, we're looking for some people at the base of the great tree, so... Eh, these kids will be people someday. <laughs> I'm, I joke, I kid, alright. They say that some lady's body is buried under this tree. Yeah, I hear that she was the wife of some emperor a long time ago. Nuh-uh, I heard she, that she dies before the wedding, so she wasn't his wife. Whatever, it's like scary, but I think it's true. Yeah, Halur's flowers are so cool. It's hard to believe something weird like that happened. 
This explains what's been making us feel so funny about this tree. Excuse me, you know, that story is not actually true. No, the mayor told it to us. What the heck is that old man thinking anyway? What about this? Oh, what a lovely fail. Where'd you get that? White shadow like a ghost dropped it. You're not saying that the white shadow is the ghost of the dead bride. No, no way. There's just no such thing as ghosts and curses. It's true. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. I'm sure that veil was just dropped by someone in your village. The mayor... <clears throat> the mayor went around and asked everybody, but didn't belong to anybody. There's no way. It's just not true, okay? This girl's really scary. Let's get out of here. Oh, you forgot this. Rita, I'm sorry. What should I do with this? Throw it away. Kids don't want something as ominous as that, I'm sure. I don't think it seems all that ominous. I actually think it seems more... holy. I think I've taken a liking to it. Do you mind if we take it? If you get cursed, it's your own fault. I thought you said there's no such thing as curses. Sh shut up, Yuri. A veil. Something every woman dreams of wearing. It's flimsy, but don't know... Wow. A little sexist there, but okay, whatever. I wonder if there is an explanation that's more holy. It seems that there's something more beautiful to all this. Sure. Sure. Wait. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, none. Sorry, I like her outfit a lot. Oh, right. Okay, she doesn't have any others. Oh, hell no. Oh, that one's kind of cool. It's still pretty bad. Man, why does Rita get screwed on the, uh... Outfits? I mean, her original design is so good, it's kind of hard to... do better. That's weird. I actually kind of like the Pirate Queen outfit. Can't remember why I didn't stick with it. Because her default one is better? Yeah, I mean, kinda. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck, I keep hitting the wrong... thing, okay. Can't see it. Pretty dumb. Kind of perfect, but really dumb. No idea what that's supposed to be. Little necklace thing and an actual, an actual dog tail. Nope, nope. Mystic gem is fine. What is that supposed to be? Make you popular, change your life. Oh, okay, whatever. Fine. Wait, that's not actually. Yeah, it doesn't actually do anything. Thank you. Ew. I said no. Nope. Nope.
Nope. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, hell no. No, we'll, we'll stick with the Klonoa thing, thank you. There's no way. Oh, he actually got two new ones. Uh, okay. If you want him to keep dressing like a Captain Schwan, gotcha. I don't get that. Oh, it's the hair, okay. It's the same exact outfit, but he's wearing his hair like Captain Schwan. Got it. Kinda dumb. I like his default hair. Not gonna lie, his default outfit is kinda garbage, but... That's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. Can't remember what game that's from. Seriously, though, the Heihachi one is the best. Like, you can't beat that outfit. Canteen doesn't do anything. Yeah. Can't beat it. Just can't beat it. And Rapides. Santa outfit is really good. For speed, what is that supposed to be? Oh, it's supposed to be Okami? Well, that can't be right. Okami's Capcom, isn't it? Maybe there's a collab thing? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna keep that one. That's just what it is now, sorry. Uh, okay. So, dicked around for like 10 minutes, my bad. Uh, where are we going now? Is that the end of it, or is there more to it? Leave the city, come back, go back to the base. Seriously? Do the same thing again? The thing that you just did, do it again. It's so counterintuitive. Of course, most of the side quests in this game are counterintuitive. So... But yeah, after this we're gonna go to Dongrest once again. The town that you love to revisit. Or not, whatever. Fucking kids. Hey, it's a healer girl! Hi! Tree's flowers look as red as ever. Too bad about that bride's curse. Pretty sure that's wrong, Yuri. Wrong? What's wrong? This veil, it told me. It told you. Uh... Did Estelle draw a storybook? Why does that kid have such a long nose? Alright, whatever. Once upon a time, there lived a kind-hearted prince named Jare. He adored flowers and insects, and he loved the moon, the sun, and the stars up in the sky. One day, Jare looked into nose reduction surgery, because, like, what the fuck? Jare found a seed, and he took that seed to the top of a great hill, and he planted it there. In time, the seed sprouted, 
It became a long, thin trunk of a tree, but its flowers did not bloom. The impatient Prime Minister said, What's the point if it won't bloom? Cut it down. But Jare replied, Even if it doesn't bloom, it's putting all the effort into growing. Cutting it down would be a terrible thing to do. Hearing this, the tree took the form of a young woman and appeared before Jare. He instantly fell in love with her white skin and beautiful figure. On a moonlit night, he asked her to marry him. After their wedding, the two of them were as happy as can be. A man and a tree. But the Prime Minister, angry that the Prince had married the maiden, had her cruelly cast out of the castle. Jare was so sad that he shut himself up in the castle. Day and night he cried, unable to think of anything but his lost love. The maiden learned of this, and stretched her trunk and branches until several pure white flowers bloomed from their tips. Jare saw this from his castle window and stopped crying. He went outside. For the first time since his maiden had gone. Did they forget punctuation or did they just accidentally capitalize four? All right. Sitting beneath the, wow, that is a big honker. Sitting beneath the newly bloomed flowers, he heard the maiden's voice. Don't cry, you'll always be able to find me here. It was then that Jare realized that his love had actually been the tree, transformed into a fair maiden. Okay, so he didn't know that before? Alright, whatever. When he gently kissed the bark of the tree he had loved, all of its flowers turned to a bright red. What? 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 Estelle, your stories are worse than Patty's metaphors. <laughs> and that is why the tree's flowers symbolize eternal love, permanent and unchanging. Wow, lady, you really suck at telling stories. <laughs> wow, so that's why the flowers are red. It's like, oh good, these children are idiots. <laughs> so that's the real story. Miss, thank you for the wonderful story. Yeah, these kids have terrible taste in stories. No, it was my pleasure. You should tell that story to the mayor, too. And then we'll make fun of him for being such an idiot. Well, I didn't know about all that, Estelle. Yeah, when did you find all that out? Well, I... I made it up. <laughs> well, well, I was making that up, and, uh, yeah. The game just straight up is like, yeah, I... I, 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 I lied. They're kids, that's what you do, you lie to children. <laughs> but you said the veil told you. That was a lie, I'm sorry. Wow. You're not sorry, Estelle, you had fun. I was just looking at this veil and the story came to me all of a sudden. Wow, Estelle, you have a real talent for making up shit. Hidden talent, hmm? Well, wonders never cease. Oh, <laughs> You ever think about becoming a writer of children's stories? You know, lying to millions of people. <laughs> like simultaneously, without having to deal with the consequences? No, not really. You can't force her into something like that. After all, Estelle, you're the princess. <laughs> yes, that's true. I'm a tree, guys. Children's stories, hmm? Maybe it wouldn't hurt to at least give it some thought, right? Wait, I thought... What? Okay, that's... That's stupid. So, a third time... Apparently I was supposed to do that a long time ago, and... I didn't, but it was still available, I guess. Oh 
and we gotta actually go back again. Not that this is, uh, you know, tedious or anything. Because it totally isn't. What the? Wait. Thank you for the lovely story. I am the maiden that was the tree that married the guy, but he didn't know, and God, yes. <laughs> it's like, oh my goodness, it was all real. The story, you mean the story that Estelle made up? Who are you? I have dwelled at the base of this tree for many generations. If you wish to give me a name, you could refer to me as the flower maiden of your story. I'm a big fan. Could you sign my trunk, please? <laughs> so you mean that really happened? Those children saw me, and I'm afraid that started my an unfortunate rumor. You mean the story of the bride's ghost? Yes, and I even dropped my veil. Oh, so this is yours. Let me give it back to you. No, I shall let you keep that. Thanks to you, the unfortunate rumor was put to rest. But no, I, I mean, I, I was just making that story up. No, I shall give you another token of my gratitude. Hmm? I have given you a new ability. It's to shit and pee at the same time. <laughs> Perhaps it will help you protect your companions. I bet you could eat nachos and go to the bathroom at the same time. <laughs> okay, sorry. Couldn't resist. Farewell. Uh. What? What was that? Elemental spirit, I think? Huh? But I thought elemental spirits came from Mental Ikea. There's a barrier blast you here, which means there's a basket core, it means a spirit, elemental spirit, blah. Stills power, put the air into the core, create an elemental spirit. Perhaps the tree of Blastia did that by themselves. Very interesting. Uh, it takes flowers out of the equation, though, and don't be exciting, really romantic. I've decided after the fight without focus, that we're going to become a writer. What? I want to be able to spread joy, just like what happened to those children in the spirit. I want to make everyone happy like it did with the list down. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to you, but Estelle's going to be the... Yeah! Alright, let's go. No, she's not going to be the Emperor. They already decided that's going to be, uh, fucking, what's his name? Yoder. Because he actually wants the job and people like him. Estelle and Rita are going to be a cute-ass lesbian couple, where Estelle is going to be a writer, and Rita is going to be a researcher, and they're going to adopt that baby, and Repeat is going to live with them, but not Yuri, because he's going to realize he's a douche, and he's going to go live... I don't care what he does, actually. I was just making it up. Okay, so... Ah... <sighs> Um, I'm glad that's in the canon. That's cool. Really cool. Also, yeah, they contradicted their own shit about... Because they said the elemental probably came from when uh, Estelle, like, did the interaction with the tree to make it bloom or whatever. And it's like, no, it's been there for several generations. You didn't create that shit, like in less than a year's time. Okay, so we'll go to Dongrest and fuck some shit up and lie to more people. Let's go ruin some childhoods. Wait a minute. North. Uh, and then we're gonna go to Muir Zoo. Hmm. 
Ja, ja. Hey. Yeah, you he startled me. Wait, aren't you Harry? Were you weren't you practicing here last time too? Oh yeah, I always have trouble sleeping whenever I come back to the city. Because of the dawn. Yeah, I want to be strong like he was. Every time I think of what he did, I feel like I have to work harder. It's like, yeah, I get that. You can borrow this. What's this? It's the sword that the Don used. But I don't use swords. It's heavy. It feels heavier than it looks. Yeah, all the responsibility of holding the guild together is contained in that sword. Yeah. I'll let you use it whenever you're practicing here. Should make for better training than what you had in the past. I can use this sword? I'm just lending it to you, though. You have to give it back in the morning. Still need to work on mastering it myself. I see. Thank you. Don sword. All right, then. Yeah, Carol really should use a lighter weapon. It's too small. All right, so that was the entirety of that. Uh, so glad we came back. Uh, let's go back to Miorzo. I really do wish these side quests were like less, like tiny chunk, tiny chunk, tiny chunk. Like they feel very unmotivated and just kind of like randomly spurs, uh, d randomly peppered throughout the game. Uh, like there doesn't seem to be much of any rhyme or reason to it. The fuck? Is that Pharaoh? I think it is. I'm gonna stay away for a minute. Um, because that's like what we're supposed to do, I guess. Okay, I gotta talk to the elder. Not you. He just gonna be in his house or what? Okay, another thing is not voice acted. Okay. So, word has it that you've been going around doing something or another to the world's end to Lakea. Make it sound so bad. We've been getting Entelikea to change into a different form, called Elemental Spirits. This lets us borrow their power, which will help us break up the Atafagos. Oh, I see. That's as I thought. Indeed, I suspected that you would be working to defeat the Atafagos. Again with the impressive claims. I'm correct, am I not? Perhaps it would interest you to know that our people have been considering going down to the surface. Going down to the surface? The time may soon come for Cronus, the Entelikea who carries Miorzo through the air. To turn into an elemental spirit and help your cause. Do you not think that likely? I'll admit it's certainly a possibility. The less patient among us have already gone down to the surface. Where did they go? I do not know, though I would imagine they'd be hard to miss. I wonder where they went. <laughs> yeah, the surface is not... it's huge. Uh, you can already find Critians in just about any city in the world. Critians can live anywhere. They're very practical people. <laughs> Says you. Okay, and then southeast corner of the town, I gotta talk to that kid. Get 
Dragon came to our city. Do you know who he belongs to? He's my friend. His name is Bowel. Cool. He's pretty big, but he's still small fry compared to Cronus. Cronus? Who's that? Where? It's right here, silly. Cronus is the Ant of the K who protects our city. Oh. You mean this big old jellyfish? It's not a jellyfish, mister. Show some respect. Cronus is so big. I can't believe the entire city could fit inside an Antilikea. Yeah, cool, huh? Even your ball, even your ball can fit inside. Uh, his name is Baowul. Whatever, who cares? Cronus is way better. You know, oh, you know, you've got a pretty smart mouth, kid. Just who do you think you are? What do you mean? I'm just telling the truth. Judith, say something to him. All Antilikea have their roles to play. It's no such thing as one of them being better than another. Ha, huh. you're saying that because you don't want to admit that you're into the chaos. Bell hasn't lost anything. If you're so eager, let's settle this right now. My pleasure, you better not cry once you get beaten. At what? I also have to back up their challenges? What pay in the rear? Let's compete in a race that I made up. Lots of points are floating in the sky. You win by collecting them all. Give it your best shot. Give it your best shot. It says this is the final part to this side quest, but I swear I haven't even ever done this before. All the rewards for this are kind of garbage. Yeah. If I do the basic thing, then Bowel can land on ice. Which, how many parts of the world have ice? <laughs> then there's a title for Judith and an ultimate red cape, which I really don't care about. Um. And then Judith will get the Into the Sky kind of title, which I don't care at either. So. I put a guy to get some birds per scene and head to a dino. West of Nordopolica. Isn't. Alright, whatever. Wait, what? Are you fucking kidding me? This is so dumb. Wow. Why is the best time all squished? Yeah, fuck it, I don't give a shit. Sure, whatever, kid. Can you snowboard like repeat? I think fucking not. Oh, which actually reminds me, I should uh, check to see. Well, I've been following this pretty well, so I don't think I've missed any of the repeat things yet. Uh, sail to the west of Nordopolica. It's right over here. Yeah, Nordopolica is on a peninsula. It's right freaking here. So 
So do they mean... Well, it kind of goes south a little bit, so if they mean west... I mean, like, straight west, right? Like this way? I don't think I actually initiated this quest when I had the chance to. I think this is one of the ones I missed. I can't go that way. Yeah, I don't see a flock of seagulls. So... Now we can go to Pharaoh's Crag. How are we doing on time? Yeah, we got like 10 minutes left. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, look around here. Spot him, chase him down for a second. Kill your tool. Okay. Alright. Uh, Frost Craig is right over here. Okay. There he is. The Hey, bud. Wait, what the fuck? There we go. Ugh. This is probably going to be voice acted. Yep. There we go. Excellent. And... He's hurt! Why is he flying? Any idiot could come along and take him out. He couldn't put up a fight like this. It's probably so humans won't get his apatheia. Human greed knows no bounds. Even the sky offers no sanctuary. Then there really isn't anywhere that's safe. Pharaoh! Hey! He's landing! It, it looks like he's calling us. Let's go. Yeah, Estelle, what, what does that look like? <laughs> I forgot you're such an expert on into the cave. Wow, yeah, he's, he's Pharaoh? hurt. Pharaoh, come on! I'm sorry. It was all for us. What do you mean? Pharaoh was a decoy for us at Zaude. Yeah, they keep uh, changing the way they say that word. The fate of the world is set. We shall meet our end. Duty unfulfilled. How unfortunate. I forgot that's how he sounds. You give up pretty fast for someone who fought for so long. Sorry, but things aren't over yet. Zaud is lost. The Adephagos has returned. Neither humans nor we possess the power of old. What more can be done? There's still hope. There's a new power. We call it science. <laughs> we would like you to become a spirit. A being that can control air even more. But to do that, we need your apatheia. You ask me to hand over my life. Well, aren't you dying? <sighs> Your heart alone cannot save the world. But you must have the heart to save it. I am not long for this world. Do with me as you please. Okay, yeah, that's kind of what I thought. It's like, fuck it. I don't care. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. What if he doesn't help us when he becomes a spirit? Pharaoh loves the world. It'll be fine. Do we have to do the mini game thing again? Shall we? But the air crane here is all dried up. If I follow the flow of the air back, I should be able to pull it from within the world. I 
Okay, alright. I was just checking the walkthrough to see if there was like anything like anyway. Are you sure? Undine is telling me that. Okay. Okay. Let me guess, Salamander. It worked! Hey, 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 hey! Hot, hot, hot! Too cold, now you're too hot. Fire. <laughs> I feel unlimited power. And he sounds very different. It has been a long time, hasn't it, my leader? I congratulate you on your conversion. Such consideration. Pelias? So you too have... I am now called Undine, the ruler of the waters. I have changed form, so I too require a new name. You, who have reincarnated me, give me a name. The fearsome fiery fireball king! <laughs> Taco shits when to stay! Such a powerful, terrible fire. The blazing one, Ifrit. Um, I don't think that's how you say that either. It might be, I don't know. But also, what? They're they're drawing from different games here. It's it's kind of strange. Because Ifrit, as she says it, or Ifri, or Ifrit, or. I actually don't know the proper pronunciation of that one. Um, it's from Final Fantasy. If they were going by the Mana series, then yeah, it would have been Salamander. Or if they were going by... But, I don't know. I guess they're just going to pick and choose. I am now connected strongly to the world, and all seems new again. Even this wasteland is filled with power. <laughs> Wonderful! Yeah, his personality hey, seems very different. Go away! Hey, where are you off to? Fear not. We are bound to you. Wherever you go, we are with you. The Intelikea and the Child of the Full Moon bear spirits. Nature's providence is great indeed. Man, they are so different before and after becoming spirits. Thank you, Raven. They have totally different points of Thank view. Thank you. It's like, imagine if a fish became a bird. This is better for them than being some sage, always worrying about the world. Yeah. You know, we're up to our eyeballs in problems. Saving the world sure keeps a guy busy. Well, the problems we're dealing with are a lot bigger than they used to be. What? Why is everybody looking at me? I got something on my face? Problems like you, Yuri. A lot. I hear that. Fate is definitely out to get you. <laughs> After everything that's happened, I'm starting to wonder myself. But hey, I've done a pretty good job of getting us out of whatever mess we're in, right? You gotta at least give me some credit there. See, for Yuri, the end of the world's just one more problem that needs solving. Maybe that attitude's what's kept us seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Gotta love the power of positive thinking. Okay. So guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, there are some... New, there's some new stuff to do in the next one. Places to go and shit. Uh, and I'll give you guys an idea as to where that is. Uh, let's see, northeast past Heliord to a lone ice continent. Wait, they don't mean... Like the 
Landris Zophir? Yeah, they definitely don't mean this area. Also, I saw some materials there, so... It's like, you know, it looks like a different color. It's probably valuable. Huh. Pretty sure that, yeah, they mean this place. Uh, wait, what the hell? Why did the thing skip? Whatever. This world is changing. What's wrong, Judith? One wrong choice could have led to far greater destruction, but instead the spirits were born. Sometimes we have to make difficult choices for change to occur. The spirits are proof of that. Maybe their current form shows the future the Intelikea hope to create. Yes. I think you might be right. One day, Baul might also face the decision of becoming a spirit. If the spirits represent evolution for the Intelikea, then... Oh, then you might have to say goodbye to your... pretty much only friend, I guess? So the cave. I assume they mean this thing in the middle of the area. And what happened to the thing of not being able to land on ice if this is a nice continent? I don't understand that at all, but I'm going to save the game because it's time to go. And uh, I hope you guys had a good time. Uh, we'll see you for the next episode. And uh, until then, be sure to pee if you have to pee in a place that's okay to pee. <laughs> like, you know, a toilet or a sink. Or somebody that really wants to be peed on. <laughs> Anyways, ta-ta for now.